Good morning. Let us all please stand for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Today we also celebrate the memorial of St. Sixtus II and Companions, Pope and deacons, martyrs. St. Sixtus was ordained bishop of the Church of Rome in 257. The following year, while celebrating the sacred liturgy in the cemetery of St. Calistus, he was arrested by soldiers carrying out, 
out the edict of the Emperor Valerian. On the same day, on the same day, August 6, he was put to death along with four deacons. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We all say, I confess to, to Almighty God, God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my in thoughts and in my words. words. In, in what, what I have done, done and in what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, of her virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray, make us docile for the sake of your word and in witness to Jesus, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The children of Israel lamented, would that we had meat for food. We remember the fish we used to eat without cost in Egypt. Give us meat for our food. I cannot carry all this people by myself, for they are too heavy for me. If this is the way you will deal with me, then please do me the favor of killing me at once, so that I need no longer face this distress. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing with joy to God our help. Sing with joy to God our help. My people, you heard not my voice, and Israel obeyed me not. So I gave them up to the hardness of their hearts. They walked according to their own counsels. Sing with joy to God, our help. If only my people would hear me and Israel walk in my ways, quickly would I humble their enemies. Against their foes, I would turn my hand. Sing with joy to God, our help. Those who hated the Lord would seek to flatter me, but their fate would endure forever. While Israel, I would feed with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock, I would fill them. Sing with joy to God, our help. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. 
When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. He said to them, There is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up the fragments left over, twelve was left over, twelve weaker baskets full. Those who ate were about five thousand men, not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray for the priests who are gathered today in the Barangay Community Center. I would like to personally thank you for praying for us. It's in view of what we celebrated last Friday, the patron of priests, St. John Marie Vianney. Pero yung mga gathering ng mga parin dumating, ito yung mga parin retired, mga old priests, and who are sick. In fact, kanina may dumating mga taga-abra sila. They travel for nine hours. Meron ding dumating from Lipa, from Pangasinan. They pass by our church. And we directed them to the venue where they are having the Mass now. And also, they will have some fun and they'll be receiving gifts, kahit yung milk, mga simpleng bagay na kailangan nila dahil matatanda na sila. And those who passed by, I was able to talk to some of them. They said, Father Jolan, Father Joseph, they told me, please relay our gratitude to the people, the parishioners of St. James, who are hosting this for these old priests who are weak, who are retired, and who have some comorbidities. You see, when we reach this stage in our life, it is so difficult to look out to the needs of others because we have our own needs. Na may sakit ka na, matanda ka na. Like in the case today of Jesus, he lost someone dear to him. Ganyan din ang ginagawa natin. We withdraw para magkaroon ng panahon, magnilay-nilay, para makarecover kasi may nangyari na masakit na biglaan na hindi madaling tanggapin. And yet we see that the crowds were there. They followed him on foot from all other towns. And so when Jesus saw them, his being a shepherd came out. Hindi niya matanggihan yung crowd. Hindi niya masabihan na Pagod ako, nalulungkot ako, nag, nahahapis ako. Kaya hindi ko kayo kayang tulungan. Instead, he approached them and he started to tend to their needs. This is a challenge for all of us. I have an old tiyo, second cousin ng mother ko. His name is uh, Monsignor Pascual Ipil. He retired many years ago. He was asked to retire kasi sickly na siya. Pero yung buhay niya, buhay pa siya ngayon, 88 years old. Mahal na mahal siya ng mga preso. Because after he retired, he made it a point to minister to those inside the jail. Pag may kailangan ng pare, nandun siya. Pag kailangan magmisa, nandun siya. And you know, it gave him new life. Na sana maikli na lang ang buhay niya, umabot pa ng 88, until now he is still strong. Because he was able to look beyond. He has his own needs, being old, being sickly, but still he looks beyond and he sees still the needs of prisoners. 
And so he ministers to them. I think this incident in the life of Jesus, grieving because of the death of his cousin, John the Baptist, may allow us to also see beyond our own needs, our own situations, so that we can see what is God's way of redirecting me so that I can go on with my life full of zest, with energy, even with my old age, with my own personal needs because of sicknesses and retirement, that I can still be useful in helping, in serving, in doing my ministry and my apostolate. Yung bang tipong kahit may pangangailangan ka, pero kaya mo pa rin tumulong kasi naiintindihan mo kung ano yung mawalan. Na naranasan mo rin na someone now needs your help and there was a time in your life you were also down and you needed help but someone was there. And so now you want to reciprocate and give back. In the same way that our model and patron of priests, St. John Marie Vianney, also did. Let us be inspired by what he said. He lived 1786 up to 1859. Napakadami niyang mga gandang mga sayings. Ang isang dasal na sinabi niya ay, My God, I give you my heart. And since you are so good as to give me another day, Give me the grace that everything I do will be for your honor and for the salvation of my soul. In their need, you are our bread, O Lord. You are our bread, O Lord. That the church throughout the world may bear witness in word and deed to God's love and concern for the hungry and the needy. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our bread, O Lord. That world leaders and all that hold positions of great power may help distribute the world's resources in such a way that no country may be in danger of famine. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our bread, O Lord. That as a community, we may be men and women of prayer, and that we may be prepared to give of our time and talents to those searching for the meaning of life. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our bread, O Lord. That the sick and the suffering may experience the sustaining love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. You are Lord, our bread, O Lord. Lord. That the faithful departed may enjoy forever the eternal banquet in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. You are you our are bread, bread, O Lord. Lord. In silence, let us pray for our own intentions, the intentions offered in this Mass, and for the intentions of those we promise to pray for. Let us pray to the Lord. You, you are, are our, our bread, bread, O Lord. Heavenly Father, be mindful of us who are in need of your mercy. Fill our hearts with your love and ever allow us to be separated from you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, receive the offerings we bring in commemoration of your holy martyr. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, Almighty, and Eternal God. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, was to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory and with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which I have for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. 